Welcome to the game show. Who wants a free pick? Get your popcorn, folks. Let's get it poppin'. Our first matchup features two ladies that have played once, and Patapova owns that head to head. That's right, we saw our Bika Lobic at Brisbane took her out. Popova's 10 wins above 500. She went 18 and 7 on clay, winning her championship in Instable. She came out with a puffy jacket, even though it wasn't even hot. She got it hot. She's got swag. We saw her take out Putin Seva in Kunamatova. She showed her who's boss. Now Potpova's got a chance to beat someone she knows all too well. Potpova's won five of her last ten matches and we saw her demolish Ann Lee, who's only won one match since Wimbledon. Not gonna happen today. Potpova's got a great serve in volley. She's youthful athletic and she's winning 60% of her service game. She's breaking opponents when pressured at 45%, and she's gonna need every bit of that pressure to take out Gulobic. Gulobic's won seven of her last 10 matches, and she's having a mediocre year. 25 and 23, she's 12 and 10 on hard. The experts have Potpova as a clear favorite, and there's no denying that. She's playing very well. Last time out, Victoria Golobic took out Diane Perry, the defensive powerhouse. Shut her down. That's right, she shut her down. We saw her beat Madison Keys at Talon. Maddie Patty made her fly back to the U.S. solo. This is a matchup where Potpo was a clear favorite, and quite frankly, that's rightfully so. But I'm going to recommend a play on the underdog. That's right. I like Victoria Golobic to win at least one set. That's my luck. Ella Esla Jeffa. Down my golfies on a roll. She's won 37 matches this year, which is her best season since 2016. She's headed for 40. She's 15 and 8 on hard, and she's won five of her last 10 matches. The big 40, she is balling. She took out Lucia Bronzetti last time out, and that was a lock, ladies and gentlemen. Bronzetti's overvalued. She averages two aces per match and wins 66% of her service games. She wins 33% of her return games and breaks opponents when pressured at 48%. She saves 46% of her own break points. And listen closely, Galfi is balling. From Spain, Nuria Prius Diaz is a defensive powerhouse. She went to Canada and almost shut down the Queen Serena Williams. She returned ball after ball after ball and made the queen be sweat. Diaz averages one ace per match. She is not a strong server. She wins 59% of her service games and she is struggling to hold serve. She's gonna be taking on Golfi, who is a lot more consistent and she's the favorite in this match, rightfully so. Golfi's got nine ITF championships and she is playing much better ball than Diaz. However, Diaz has 25 ITF championships. She's more experienced, she's the veteran, and I think she's the better shot maker. I like Diaz to win at least one set. That's my pick for this match. Matter of fact, take Diaz as the underdog to win this match outright. I like both of those picks. I like Diaz to bring that pressure all match long, and eventually Dalma's gonna crack. <laughs> Next up, get your popcorn, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a match from the hard-hitting you and Helena Kalinina. She is a veteran balling, ladies and gentlemen. She's taking on someone she has never beat before, and Yasleen Bonaventure is on a roll. 
Yes, Lane has won eight of her last 10 matches. That's right, I repeat, she has won eight of her last 10 matches. We saw her make the quarterfinals in Talon, where Net Conteve needed three sets and she made her sweat it out. Up a break in the last set, Annette had to dig deep to get that victory. Bonaventure averages one ace per match and she is winning 77% of her service games. I repeat, she is winning 77% of her service games. She wins 29% of her return games and gets 68% of her first balls in play. Bonaventure is consistent and consistency is the key to victory. And Helena Kalinina has won four of her last 10 matches. We've seen some tough losses to Sigma and Elise Mertens, Ostapenko, Coco Golf, and Sinekova. Last time out, she got the win against the veteran Jeannie Bouchard, center to Canada, grab your passport to get through customs. And Helena is the loser in this head to head matchup. She averages one ace per match, however, she gives triple that amount back in double faults. She wins 64% of her service games, 32% of her return games, and breaks opponents when pressured at 44.5%. The experts have Bonaventure as the favorite, which is probably the best option. Yasseline's got the mummy wraps off and she's finally moving free. She's got a left forehand that she blasts deep in the corner and it's tough to return. Kelly Nina's gonna have her hands full, ladies and gentlemen, and she's the underdog having never beat Yasseline. However, Yasseline only wins 29% of her breakpoint opportunities. That is not going to get it done against Kelly Nina. Give me the underdog to win at least one set. That's a lock. This is Good Energy. Thanks for listening. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Good Energy. You got to give the people what they want. Those locks. Let the beat drop. Five foot eleven, twenty one years old from China. Exu Wang is going for her fortieth win of the season. I repeat, four zero. That's correct. Wang is dominating the tour right now. She's 39 and 23. She went 23 and 10 on clay and 14 and 9 on hard. She's won five of her last 10 matches and we saw her send the Greek goddess packing. That's right, Chinatown invaded the USA and the US Open and Marie Sacri had no answer. The left forehand down the line, she demolished Sacri. Annette Confe needed three sets in Talon, and she was down in the third and had to dig deep. Wong averages four aces per match and wins 67% of her service games. She wins 31% of her return games and breaks opponents when pressured at 48%. Gabrielle Elena Russe was sitting on her couch, and she got a phone call. Would you like to play in Romania? Of course she accepted. This is her hometown. She's only won four of her last 10 matches and we've seen losses to Ribera, Serenko, Coco Golf, Bernarda Pera, and Rakimova. Bruce is 17 and 20 on the year. She's a loser. But she plays her best tennis on hard. She's 13 and nine. Russe averages two aces per match, but gives triple that amount back in double faults. Ouch. She can't close a door. She wins 52% of her service games. Whoa, that's low. 35% of her return games. How low can you go? She breaks opponents when pressured at 50% and saves 45% of her own break points. This match is risky, very risky, but life is risky. No one makes it out alive last time I checked. 
Exu Wong averages five double faults per match. Gabriel Elena averages six double faults per match. I don't think anyone can get the ball in play. Wong's a better player, and that's the no-brainer. But give me five and a half free games with Gabriel Elena Russe and the home crowd backing her. <laughs> I wouldn't back her if I had an itch to scratch. But I don't have an itch right now. That's your pick. This is for entertainment only.